Hey everyone, this is Jack and welcome back to my channel. Today is day five of Burning Man Waking Dreams 2022. You're amazing! Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. And today we were going to start out with some breakfast with sandwiches and cookies. Wow. Good afternoon. Hi. And today was more about lounging around and, you know, snacking a little bit here and there during the daytime. This is our first time meeting Garrett, the meme lord of our Facebook group. It was just out of coincidence that we came to his camp, and that's awesome. <laughs> on the roof, 
twerk it, twerk it on the roof. Wow, what happened? There's a traffic jam. What is going on? <laughs> is that every day or just today? Yo, strap on! Strap on! <laughs> oh my god, it keeps going. For the reason, society with their snail. Okay, so this was one of my favorite camps that we visited in the daytime. This was a Taylor Swift party where you could drink lavender cocktails if you put on red lipstick. <laughs> Why do you know how to do that so well, huh? Uh, it's kind of crooked. <laughs> I'm not a Swifty fan, but I do recognize when there's a boss move. Also, the snail lights up in rainbow colors with LEDs at nighttime. Who's that, huh? She's very <laughs> Spotted at Burning Man. Spotted. 2022. Tell me your name. Judge. Judge, I need mean, that fucking outfit. It's beautiful. Can you give me a 360? Right? It's so good. His name is Ica. No, Ica. Oh. Spell it. I see you, P. I see you. Oh. Uh. I love that they give a schedule of what burns out on the playa every night. Shower got installed. Just need to bring your gray water. Thank you guys for partaking in our pop up. Of Thank you for allowing us to drink with you. <laughs> 12, between 12.45 and 1.13. Oh my god, that's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> Sheesh. That's so many. Wow. Wow. Main station. I want the teeth. I mean, actually, typically I don't want teeth, but you know, it depends on where they're going. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I love it. Included, all right? <laughs> Wait, um, could you do oh, a yeah, rotation? Okay. Oh, yeah, I can do a rotation. Yeah, yeah. All right. She loves For the, uh... Oh my god, it's in a matchbox! Oh! Do not lick cats. <laughs> They don't like being licked. Have you seen I videos? I to look at cats. They Flying Pebbles. The guy with the hands earlier was Beryl. What is your specialty? Okay, so I have an amazing rosé. listening to some music and then nighttime was when we were going to celebrate Zoe and Victor from our conclaves ceremony is kind of like a wedding where that was officiated on playa and it was such a great time this is really special and to do it in such a magical place is well worth the trip the ticket all the blood sweat and tears to get here as well as you know having your friends and family surrounding you and making sure that everybody's safe and it was really beautiful 
beautiful. I've never seen a uh, blood exchange ritual before, so this was a first. A couple started out going to all four directions and doing their hands joined, some signage in the air, and then they read their vows, and then they pierced their finger and put a drop of blood into some mysterious liquid, and somebody officiated, and then we all hugged and kissed and cried. And the night was very beautiful. This was also the couple's move during our conclave piece, which is, which is why it had so much meaning. The first burning piece of art that we saw and it's very powerful towering up to the heavens and watching all the beautiful embers fall. Let's hey, just hey, go hey. by it real quick. Oh, yeah, okay. I see I see you blue. Yo ho yo ho motherfucker. Yo yo Why is the room always gone though? Take gusta holes? Take gusta holes. Oh my god, stop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, let's go towards the fire. I think this is the one that the bitch yesterday that we met said that this was this was their their art. Bring it down! The castle one. Shit. This is why can't see the fucking thing. Victor and Zoe's.
And then it was time to do some fire spinning by Opulent Temple. We had one of the Conclave girls DJing before a huge headliner. This was also a meaningful time for me to flow because I got my first little fire burn under my left wrist, <laughs> which is still here today. And honestly, this was also the most confident I've ever been at fire spinning. I've always been a little intimidated going to festivals and other meetups because I know there's going to be people so much better than me. But at the same time, if I never go out and do it, I won't progress and I will just be stuck in one place. So I really loved having the confidence and having the space to be able to do this and express myself. that is all we have for today if you like this video give it a thumbs up share so that you can learn more about the burning man community subscribe and click the notification bell so you know when i have a new video coming out and until next time keep curious everyone jack out